billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. Happy day, I am good! <laughs> and today we are checking out a game called Sally Face. You are a young boy with blue pigtails and a prosthetic face. I thought that rhymed, but it was just face twice. This game is just a demo. I'm hoping that it will be a new series when it comes out, because it looks kind of interesting. Haven't played it yet, but just the premise of it is very interesting. This boy has a very eerie past and a very disturbing past, and I'm just excited to see what's going on here. Piece of fuzz in the air. It was just like the last time. We just played the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. <laughs> All right, so my face is bandaged. I've got blood all over it. I wonder what happened to me. I walk very cool though. I never lost my swag. And I'm gonna turn on this light switch because really, it's dark in here. Mm. It's creepy in here. Are we in a doctor's office? Mental institution? I'm not gonna answer the phone just yet just because I, what happened to me? Okay, let's answer this baby. Maybe we'll know. It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Come and see what? What are you talking about? Come and see. What? Uh, okay. Hopefully this isn't too scary. Weird though, it sounded like my dad. Why is my dad being so creepy to me and what did he do to me? Did he sign me up for some kind of experiments? Let's push this, see what happens. Ooh, a key. <laughs> now what are we gonna do with this key? What happened to me on this bed? Whatever would you do to a young boy that would literally rip his face off? I don't know. Okay, let's go see what's going on here. We've got doors with letters on it. Do we want to go in door A, B, C, or D? I'm gonna go with C. Cause it, you know, that's what you circle in multiple choice tests just to make sure you're okay. Okay, it didn't work. D? It's our favorite letter. Oh. Okay, so D worked. And now it's getting a lot more murky and disgusting in here. We've got LMNOP or MNOP. Maybe it's O, because it's the third letter? O is the C of MNOP. <laughs> okay, it's getting even redder. We got H, G, F, and E. We just went through D, O, and G. Is this... Is that supposed to mean something? Am I spelling dog here? What's going on? Wow, it's so pretty. The sky? The pastel colors? It looks like everyone's like gathered around. What happened, guys? Let me know. It's getting pretty wet and cold out here. Can I borrow somebody's coat? Okay, I'm going this way. What are we all saying? <gasps> Speak, dog. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Why too? Huh? Did the dog maul my face off? Is that is that why we got here? That actually makes sense. Go see for yourself. Okay, why is everyone saying come and see and go see? Like, what is this? I can barely see. There's a six up there. On the tree. Um, okay, we're gonna go this way. Oh, Diane Fisher, beloved mother. Is this my mom? I'm gonna climb down? Why would I climb down into a grave? <gasps> okay, we are taking a little walk, just trying to see what's going on. We are back in the mental institution thing. Okay, so I'm gonna say six. I saw that number on the tree, but it didn't work. Maybe there's more numbers elsewhere. I'm gonna go check. I should have been paying more attention. Oh, four. Six, four. That's all I got. Is 64 the password? Oh, six worked. What? Okay. I'm cool with that. Wasn't exactly a wild goose chase. Hey, boy. Why are you looking so sad? Dad? You're not my son. Wow! Thanks, Dad. We, go we both got the blue hair. I look like you. Just because I don't got the beer belly yet, but I will. My son is not a murderer. Maybe your son is a murderer? Because, I mean, I'm, I just <laughs> I'm still a product of your seed, you know? Whether I murdered something or not. Eh, okay. Bye, Dad. Why is there chalk around? Did I kill you? <gasps> Did somebody kill you? Was I framed? Whoa. This is your fault. Huh. What's going on in here? Can I jump into it? Oh, it's a- is this a hearse? Morgue. Is this a morse? Fuck. <laughs> is this a morgue? <laughs> it's a morgue. This is where you keep the bodies. And it's open. Does that mean it has a space for me? Mm -hmm. I keep trying to assume what's going on. Maybe I'm just gonna let it- I'm just gonna take it all in and see what's going on here. Mom? You okay? What happened to you? Are you- You're not going in there, are you? Mom? Hello? Ah, what the f- Whoa! And that's when I woke up. 
Just a dream. Mmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, could you tell me more about the body? Why do you want to hear about my mom's body and why are you green? Which one? Like, there were a few. The second one. The one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. What was wrong with the place? Okay, we're gonna find out. Later. <laughs> no! I wanted to find out what- Oh, here we go. We're gonna find out what happened right now. This will be our new beginning, young son. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Oh, it's a cute dad and he's smiling. He's happy. I still have like the prosthetic face, so... Something bad must have happened in New Jersey, but we moved. Despite the fact that Sally has blue hair, ear piercings, and pigtails, I read in the description that he is in fact a boy, so I'm just gonna go with that until something changes. All right, should I leave? Or should I go to Sal's room? Dad's room. I'm gonna go to Dad's room first, see what he's up to. Hey kiddo, decided to take a break from unpacking? That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place, Dad? I'm gonna ask him, but I immediately had a bad feeling about it. I miss Jersey. I miss mom. See ya, what happened to mom? Okay, I'm gonna figure out what happened to mom. Let's go. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. I miss Jersey, dad. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks and you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, dad. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's some wholesome conversation. I'm gonna ask him, what do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. Okay, see ya, dad. Kind of boring. Try not to get into too much trouble. All right, so not much happened there. He was just kind of encouraging. He didn't really want to talk about what happened to mom. Maybe it was because it's a little bit too fresh. He really wants this place to work. It's not as nice as our old place, but we're here anyway. So something tragic must have happened that caused us to leave New Jersey and come to this new place. Hi, kitty kitty cat. Hi, Gizmo. I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. All right, what else is in here? That's all. Okay, it's just a cat. We have a cat. We got a cat, we got a dad, we don't got a... Didn't I have a dog at one point? Had a mom at one point. Oh shit! Um, elevator. Oh hi Mr. Copycock. Why is there a police line here? Something bad happened? There's a police line at our next door neighbor's house on the other side of the elevator. So I need to figure out what happened. Hello. So, why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Wow, you're mad, hey? He kind of looks like... Beavis. <laughs> now scram. I don't get paid to babysit. Why are you power tripping, butthead? Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? Wow, okay. Thanks. Where's the flood, by the way? Nice pants. I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Can you please tell me what happened in that room? Come on, tell me what happened in the room. I know you want to feel important. Maybe telling me what happened, as if you know what's going on, will make you feel important. Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? <laughs> I wish I could. Oh, Sally. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. <laughs> Stupid weirdo kid. <laughs> okay. Bye. I'll walk away. All right, let's get in the elevator, see what's going down. Oh, I can explore different floors. So we're on floor four. Let's go check out five. Let's go see. I was gonna say, let's go see how the kings are living, because it's, you know, penthouse territory. But this floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Oh, <laughs> don't mind if I- Oh, it's locked. Don't mind- Oh, hello. Sorry, I, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir. Are you okay? You shouldn't have come in here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my neighbors and- A dark place. What? This building. Horrible things happen. Oh, okay. Are you sure you're okay? Why don't we get you something nice to sit on, like a, a couch or chair? I've got a stool in my room. <laughs> He's gone! What the? Okay, we gotta check once more. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm scared. Hello? Is he Batman? Where'd he go? Okay, let's go to the bathroom. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Like, what's going on? It seemed like almost supernatural, that exit. Okay, so 504. 502. Let's see what's going on. Locked? No number. Oh, okay, I'm glad that one was locked. <laughs> okay, let's go back in the elevator. <gasps> I'm so excited to know what's going on on all these different floors. I can't get past the sign. Gotta keep that in mind. 
because maybe 303's got some presents for me. 302, let's go. <gasps> oh, oh, she's just knocking. Okay. No one's home. Hi. Hi, sweeper lady. You want to talk to me? Hi. Oh, my. Sorry, you just startled me a little bit. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. I need help on, on the fifth floor with that guy up there. Now, are you really my friend, Lisa? Or are you gonna rat on me later? Floor three can't really get past anything. I wonder why the top floor is under renovation and it's creepy in there. Okay, 203, come on, let's go. No one's home. 204, lucky number. <gasps> yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building and just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Ooh, you collect stuff, don't ya? Looking a little greasy up top. Maybe it's just a little sweat. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Wait, I just realized that everybody's treated me normally, except this is the first guy who's been like, uh, hi, something's wrong here. So the girl's sweeping the floor. She should have been like, good heavens. I guess I did spook her. The guy upstairs was like looking out for me despite how scary I look. If a little kid wearing that came into my room and I was just sitting there on newspaper, I'd be scared. Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Yeah, it's a decoration. <laughs> just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see? I collect many things. These things are like my family so if you mess with my collections you're messing with my family got it yes sir not a problem i won't be giving your toys any troubles maybe i'll take the orange hair horse thing good to hear <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna do the awkward so i'm in your house like should i just walk away so <laughs> yeah i know you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection yeah that's it. Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Oh, it's so great. Okay, well, it's not that nice of a place, but we'll say it anyway, because we're new here. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Okay, so you live alone. Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I'd ever need. Okay, then. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Oh, be right back. <laughs> You're creeping me out. Bye! I'm gonna- I'm just gonna take a look. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. But what's a glitter pony? Oh boy. He's in some sort of trance. Or maybe he's offended that I don't know what a glitter pony is. My god, child! Have you never seen my glitter ponies Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced! It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, <laughs> everything you could want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies! Don't even get me started, mmm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. So I'm glad I didn't touch the ponies, because I don't know what he's done to them. Particularly the orange-haired one. Yes, you will, and trust me, you won't regret it. Ugh. Well, see you later. Wow. Okay, so now we got a new place on, in our map. Charlie's place. No one's home. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just heard like a chainsaw and a ball and a meh. Hmm, I guess no one's home. Hello? I hear something. Something's going on in there. Hmm, I guess no one's home. What? Okay, someone must be building something. But what about the meh? Okay, we're on floor one. Addison? Ooh. Oh dear, what a frightful- oh, pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Oh, well, t can you tell me what's going on upstairs? I'm coming in. Heavens, no! I'm afraid I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Bye, I guess. Farewell, friend. No one's home. <gasps> oh. Jesus, okay. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. That happened to my neighbor. Can you tell me what happened? Was it murder? I can't talk about that. I think I deserve to know as a resident. Okay, bye. So long. Hey, detective. <laughs> Hello, Sal. 
Was it murder? <laughs> I was gonna ask again. I can't talk about that. All right, so we're meeting some very, very interesting characters in this game so far. Oh, 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 oh! It's an old lady in a bra. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Why does everyone have to make fun of me? Stupid, good for nothing kids. Fucking piece of shit. Okay, I get it. Why doesn't anyone treat me like I'm part of this society? Like at least ask about it. Okay, let's go to the basement. Oh boy. Oh, I don't have the card. I need a card. I'm gonna talk to that janitor lady and maybe she has a key card for me. That would be amazing. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal, what's up? How long have you been working here? Do you know anything about what happened in 403? Is there anything fun around here? Is this building haunted? I, but I wanna know, I, I, want, I want a key card. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna juice her up. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24 seven for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home, going on 10 years now. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over a hundred years old, you know? That's true, I mean, it's old, so stuff happens. What about upstairs, lady? People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Why don't you go s check out floor five, would you? Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. Focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. Oh, are you a beauty vlogger? I'm gonna change the subject. So, do you know about anything? You know what happened in room 403? Would you like to let me in on the loop because the cops and the detectives won't tell me? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. What? Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Well, hello? Is there anything fun to do around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. Ooh, maybe he has the key card. Totally does. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it. Okay, I'm excited. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator though. So take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Is this building haunted before I go? Sal, sweetie. I've taken care of the Addison apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Okay, you're nice, but bye. I'm really excited to go downstairs. See you around. Bye! All right, we're going to the basement. Ah! All right, so they live with the laundry room, little vending machine. I guess, you know, the basement usually is where all the utilities are. We got some biohazard equipment. Lost and found with a bunch of junk in it. It's just pretty messy and pretty dingy down here. Keep out. Oh, is that Larry's room? Okay, I'm gonna go into Lisa's room. Oh, it's locked. Dang it, I wanted to snoop. Let's see what's on the other side before we go into the keep out door because it's a little intimidating. Bathroom? What the fuck? <gasps> what the hell was that? Wow, I thought Larry's room was gonna be scary. Is it okay down here? It's haunted. It's gotta be, or I'm crazy. Okay. Is it okay in here? Toilet's a little yellow. Get some bleach in there. They got an open box of pizza. Pizza's just sitting on the table. Some Coca-Cola cans. Or maybe it's beer cans. But let's go see what Larry's up to. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come in. Door's open. I'm going through puberty. Let's go. How's it going? Whoa, nice mask. Thanks. It's really nice, isn't it? It's a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there, or what happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Nobody's given any info. Come on, let's have it. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face, and I just moved in with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? <laughs> I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest, so that's why. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. That's pretty sweet, actually. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Ha, <laughs> that's what your mom said too. Mother knows Ben. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's cause we gotta guard the place from rats, but I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. That's pretty sweet. I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. <laughs> 
I do have my own clothing line, so. <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. Oh, here we go. A little metal. Hell yeah. Can you? Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Headbang, Sally. Rip off the mask and just go nuts. Do it, Sally. I believe in you. Join your friends, yeah! Wow, this is taking a long time! Wow! Oh, I was supposed to click out of it, that's why. What happened in 403? Shh! Not so loud, man. But we were just blasting music. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. What? How do you know that? I saw it happen. What? Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Miss Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. He's yelling that shit. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Oh, thanks. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Charlie! The guy with the collections! Big creeper from 204, he was wearing gloves so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll change the subject. What's up with the guy in 103, like with the... the shutter guy? That's Mr. Addison, he owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. Oh, that's kind of nice. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. All right, I guess I'm out of here. Ooh, the radio. It's good hanging with you. What is this thing, by the way? That's a, it's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. Are you sure you weren't the one that did the murder? How the hell did you get this thing? I feel like he might have been the one who did the murder because why would he trust me right off the bat to tell me that someone else did it? Someone who never leaves his room and guards his toys. Maybe he stole. Wait, we should look around the room and see if there's any ponies around here. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day, but hey, you gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, Maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective. Something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and... I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet! So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. <gasps> oh, what if, what if he's trying to frame me? Sounds pretty solid to me, I'm curious, let's go. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with an armed robbery like at a gas station or drugstore, make it a little more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this, head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. Thank you, okay. Got a walkie-talkie. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude, it's my passion. Okay, he's really nice, we'll see. He's got figurines here. But no ponies. I don't see a pony in this entire room. Doesn't really seem like a pony guy either, you know, like in metal and all that. All right, upstairs we go. We are back talking to Larry's mother, just cause I wanna do a little bit of a background check. It's not that I don't trust him, but let's just see what's going on. I met Larry. Oh, wonderful, I'm glad you kids got to meet. Me too, it's good to have a friend again. Larry's a nice guy. I knew you two would get along. Aw, that's cute. Do you need any help? Are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? Well, I mean, it is kind of weird. I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. So she just sits there meditating all day? That's cool. I mean, I guess I'm the same way. I could tell you're a creative type, like my Larry. I'm glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. What do you worry about? Oh, I shouldn't be bothering you with this stuff. Let's keep things positive. You're too positive, girl. Sometimes you gotta talk. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What? I can't talk about anything anymore? How dare you? Larry's mother seems to be worried about him. She seems to think that he might take the wrong path in life. So I'm just kind of 
I'm remaining skeptical of everybody in this story. I'm not sure if the big old collector guy has it in him. Well, I went down to 103 to see what this tea will do to me. I'm gonna see what's going on. Addison tea, please? Yes, coming right up. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Thank you. Addison's tea, it has a funny smell to it. Definitely not drinking this stuff. Oh, is that Addison tea I smell? <gasps> There's something new. Yeah, I just got some from- Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Okay, you can- Yeah, sure. Have that. Enjoy it. Are you okay? Oh, so tasty. So relaxing. He's sleeping, isn't he? Dang it! Oh, must have dozed off for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. I didn't even have the option. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good. I'm glad. Say, if you get any more of those Addison teas, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. Really? Hey, come downstairs to talk when you get a chance. What's going on? What the hell? There's like nothing going on down here. Maybe I'll try to talk to the detective? Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... Look, I appreciate you kids trying to help. I really do. But unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. Okay. Bye. Okay, we're gonna check out the room. Use walkie-talkie in 402. All right, let's go. Um, all right, I'm gonna call him in the bathroom because it's nice and private. <laughs> It is the next day today. I went around the apartment three or four times, clicking on every single interactable thing, trying to figure out how to get the walkie-talkie working. I ended up ending the video because I thought it glitched out. And today, I just had a weird feeling about leaving it unfinished. So I went, redid the whole thing, and I found out that all you gotta do is press shift to get the walkie-talkie working. So here we go. We're gonna figure out what went down in that room. Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. We get to see what happened. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go and see if you can get into 403 now. Here we go. We're going to 403. We're gonna find out what happened. Oh, so excited. The cop is no longer there. We're sneaking in, baby. Wow, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot. A lot of blood. Let's examine here. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. All right, keep looking then. There's got to be something else. All right, let's see. Let's examine this. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Yeah, so I guess he knows. It's weird how much he knows. Oh, there's ponies in here. So maybe Charlie did do it. Now let's see. You can't go in the kitchen. I'm gonna examine. There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Did he steal that beautiful orange-haired pony? Hmm. That's it! I know how we can get him! Get out of here and come down to the basement! Here we are, down in the basement. Didn't have to take the elevator, just fast-forwarded right down here. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it all day while I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps, just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. I think it's your turn. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty! Okay, don't be rude. All right, all right, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool, you're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. I don't know who to trust. But okay, I got the baggie. Oh, I'm also gonna say I gave Charlie some of Addison's tea because I did. Great idea. I bet that put him right to sleep. It sure did. It did, but only for a minute. Hmm, if only we could make it stronger somehow. I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm going to go get Addison's tea, put some sleeping pills in it, and then that guy's gonna be out. I'm gonna be able to steal his toys. It's gonna be amazing. I just hope that Larry isn't, like, forcing me to do his bidding, because that would be very sad. I know that Addison is on floor one. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? Addison T, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. Perfect. 
We got the tea! Okay, there we go. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Now we just gotta go to our room on level four, grab those sleeping pills, and Charlie's gonna be out like a light because he's addicted to Addison's tea. Like, he chugs it like you wouldn't believe, disgustingly. He drinks like this. Like, kisses the- kisses the cup. He loves it so much. Okay, sleeping aid, let's go. This will knock that fat bastard out for sure. Okay, so it appears that I dumped the entire bottle of sleeping pills in this tea. Hopefully it doesn't kill him. How's it going, officer? Okay. Don't you get tired of standing there all day? Any news on finding the killer? If I find you're tampering with police evidence, well, you better pray I don't find out. That's rude. Hey, buddy! I see what you stole. Hey! Oh! <gasps> Yeah! There's a blood splattered toy, this pink one! I'm surprised they weren't fighting over the orange-haired one. I, I don't really dictate people's tastes. Another cup from Addison. No! No! As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I can drink another drop today, as surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh, nice and hot. Come on! Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. I've probably had at least 20 cups today. What? Are you positive? This is um, a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. I already had three cups and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even- Oh, I have to try that. Give it here. Oh yeah. Oh, you look at him kissing that cup. Oh, he's, in he's loving it. He's enjoying it. He's gonna be out. Oh, this is better than his original. I didn't know how he- Ah, uh, okay. All right. Oh, he's snoring. He's out like a light. Got the toy score. Oh, oh, I got it, 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 I got it. Nothing else useful here, just an old man's creepy pony collection. I got the toy. Hopefully he's gonna be out for long enough that I can go talk to Larry, ask Larry what to do next. Hopefully I can trust Larry. I'm a very untrustworthy looking kid with my prosthetic face and I just hope that I don't get into too much trouble. I've had a series of unfortunate events in my life Hopefully we're fine. I got the toy, let's go. All right, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give it to the detective and it'll all be over. All right. Wanna play that Sanity's Fall song again? Let's just, let's just let it drop. Oh yeah, come on, come on. There we go. Come on, come on. You guys know you wanna headbang. You know you wanna do it. Yeah, come on, come on. Why aren't you doing it? Headbang! There you go, there you go. There you go. It never gets old. Okay, I'm done. Bye. Have fun in there by yourself. Oh. Wow, okay. Look at this. Hopefully I'm just not framing myself right now. Ugh, that would be terrible. <gasps> Is that why my dad at the beginning of the game called me a murderer? Uh-oh. Hey, detective. Hello, cell. I've got evidence! I'm not just walking around here talking. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie and he was showing me all his toys. That's when I noticed that one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time, you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? You wouldn't listen to me before! Yes, sir, you got... It? Am I still headbanging? Oh, now you can go further because there's no one blocking it. Okay. You can leave? Hello. How's it going out here? Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Oh, Charlie, what if you didn't do it? I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. Oh no, what have I done? It's the corner. No one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Ah! Shit! Someone cut her brains open! Well, I'm already wearing glasses, so. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. 15 years old and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. Aw, oh, damn it! After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? Uh, how do you think it made me feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I've said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. Well, you seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me? I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait, it's about Larry. What about Larry? I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. What? 
This could be important! Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. What? A trial? Oh shit, what's going on? Oh, I had to put my prosthetic face back on. I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. Well, everyone else does. Look at me, I'm in jail. You might be the only one. Oh, damn. I'm a badass looking adult though. Scary as hell. Thanks for playing Sally Face episode one, Strange Neighbors. I'm very glad that we got through it. We got the ending, we saw what happened. I s I'm glad that I didn't trust Larry from the beginning because it just doesn't seem right. Charlie did seem innocent. Let me know what you guys think of this game. It's actually seeking funding. I will leave a link in the description. I would love to play the rest of this game. If you enjoyed this video, please give it one of these and make sure you subscribe. Give that gloomy subscribe button a bit of a pick-me-up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!